Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Red Donkey Projections. My name is Lucas, and I have Eric here as always. Hey guys. And today we'll be taking a look at the 2020 presidential election based on the polls, solely the polls. We are taking our data from 538. We used to use RCP. We do think our 538 is better now. Um, we'll be taking the averages from 538, and we'll be putting this them on this map. As you can see, I only laid out the states that had no data. If they had no data, I put it in green. Um, these states probably have no data because it's pretty obvious who it's going to go to. Well, we might put it in at the end just to see the numbers. But um, with that being said, let's get right into it. Quick disclaimer here, um, these are not our predictions because polls, yes, they're mostly accurate. Sometimes they are, do skew a bit to the left or to the right sometimes, actually. Um, let's do this state by state. We're going to toggle back and forth this episode. We think that's a lot more beneficial if you guys can all see like what these polls are showing um, instead of us just showing the numbers. So let's get started here. State of Alabama, no surprise here. We did see a deep dip, though, um, June yeah, that was. It's still fifteen point five points. Alabama. It's deep definitely south. safe because yep, deep south, super it's in the deep south. Absolutely. Next to here is Alaska. This was a huge surprise to us. Mm -hmm, indeed. Um, now here's the thing, though, and other YouTubers have made this point too. In these polls, they do show Trump's winning by a slim margin, but we have to keep in mind that there is about around like a five percent undecided vote, and at the end of the day, most of those people are going to go to vote. Trump. Um, so even though it might show Trump leading by um, like one, two points, um, it's probably still going to Trump. So just for the purpose of this video, we're going to take all three averages. So a one, a three, and a five, um, even though this is pretty old, we'll just keep it there as well. It doesn't change the result. So overall, Trump plus three, that falls within our lean. Oh, that's right. Um, I forgot to give the uh, info about our lean likely tilts. Um, a safe is 15 points or more. A likely is a 10 to, sorry, a 5 to 15 point lead. A lean is a 1 to 5 point lead. And a tilt is a 0 to 1% lead, which we do see some this time all around. Yeah. All right. Next state here, Arizona. This is a crucial, crucial battle state, battleground state. Joe Biden can win this state and not have to take Wisconsin. This one is a lean. Do you want to talk a little bit more about this, Eric? Yeah. So, um, again, as Lucas said, Arizona is this new arising battleground state. Um, they were threatened or no, not threatened. I, I should say that they do have a spike in coronavirus cases. And um, regarding Black Lives Matter, they have a Latino elector, which is in big support of this um, movement. Um, this is similar to Mark Kelly's and Martha McSally's race in um, Arizona. And I feel like the turnout for the Democrats are just, is, is definitely going to increase, which is why we actually are putting Arizona as a real predictions as a tilt, but polls do show it at a lean. Yeah. For our real predictions, we're in between a tilt and a lean, but it's really trending towards putting it as a lean at this point. Um, mm -hmm. If everything keeps going this way, it will become a lean our next episode. Adding on to Arizona, um, this is a very crucial battleground state, as I said before. So um, Arizona is the lean here. All right, next state here, Arkansas, uh, plus two. Interesting. Um, hmm. Very. I do. I think this poll definitely is an outlier. Eric, what do you think? Should we just put this one to save? Because I feel like yes, this, I this, think this is, this is definitely an outlier. Here. The pollster is also rated at BC and. Um, yeah, it's just I. I'm not the sure. data was probably like messed up or something. I don't you know think what? it's accurate. Hmm. I think for the purposes of this video, we're doing it solely based on polls. Then I think we should put it what the poll says. So we'll just put this one as lean. But Arkansas is a safe red state. Uh, don't really trust this. No, nope, <laughs> it, absolutely it's, it's not. Definitely an out, yeah, it's definitely yeah. an outlier. And talking about Arizona, a recent poll came out as well. I'll go back to Arizona. I just remember the point. Um, a recent poll came out having them tied and Trump plus four. I think these are outliers as well. So I don't think we can trust those that much. 
Um, all right, California, no surprise, 29-point lead. We don't discuss California. It's becoming bluer and bluer uh, by the day. Colorado, this one we used to put as likely in our uh, polling videos since it was at like 14 yeah. points before. It has since risen to 17 points. That is within our safe. This used to be a, a, a Republican state. This went to Bush, I believe, both times he ran. It is trending more blue now, a lot more blue. To the point where we think that Hickenlooper will be Cory Gardner in the Senate election. Pretty soundly. Mm-hmm. Connecticut, yeah, no I'm not surprise. surprised. <laughs> no surprise there. Um, although, let me just double check because 13, 16, 19, yeah, okay. Because I saw 13 there, I wasn't sure, but no surprise there. Delaware, um, 16 points, no surprise here either. Basically, the Midwest, uh, completely blue. Yep. Now, Florida, Florida, this is a big one. This is a big one, very big one. This is a likely now. I think his lead has diminished. It was at seven points before, but it's still at a solid 6.8%. Um, 10-point lead, 6-point lead, 7-point lead. Trafalgar gave a, an even, so this is a really good sign for Joe Biden because uh, Trafalgar tends to uh, sway to the right a bit with their polling. Um, we saw that many times. Um, 16.8, that falls within our likely here. Uh, we'll discuss in depth all the, all the battleground states. The other ones, we don't really discuss that much, but I think I should probably discuss Florida. Mm-hmm. Florida, high Hispanic population. Um, GOP governor, Ron DeSantis. Growing number of cases um, in the state of Florida. I'm not, I, didn't, I, I don't think that he's doing that much to help it. Um, and the problem with that is, like, with the rise of coronavirus cases in Florida, a lot of the blame might be put on the governor as a result of that, especially considering that he's a staunch ally of President Trump. So this will probably pretty much hurt Ron DeSantis. But I don't think it's a likely, though. I think it's either a tilt or a lean at this point, just like uh, Arizona. At the moment, things are looking good for Joe Biden in the state of Florida. All right. Let's now head to Georgia. This is also getting really close. This is a Uh, tilt for the Democrats, with Joe Biden just slightly leading by 0.9. Again, in our regular predictions, we really just don't think, along with Texas, which we'll get to, that Joe Biden will take this state in 2020 election. We never know. 2024, something may happen, and the trend, this trend, will continue. And Georgia may fall to the Democrats, but again, we're not sure, and but we're not confident enough to put Georgia even as a tilt yet. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we have it currently at in between tilt and lean. We're still getting more information, seeing if it might change. If the polling lead does grow a lot, then maybe we do have to give us one a tilt then, because wow, um, with Biden leading by that much um all of yeah we did see some trump polls um it's gonna be hard to tell for georgia let's now head to indiana mike pence's home state oh this one's also likely interesting this is an 11.5 percent lead for president trump for those of you that don't remember indiana did go to um barack obama in 2008 but that was a landslide yeah, that was a landslide election. He got 365 votes, um, but I'm not too sure. Let's see. I think before him, I think the last time I went was either in the 64 landslide or um, I'm not sure, actually. But it was, I know it was a really long time since he uh, anyone had won the state of Indiana as a Democrat. So that one's a likely right now. So um, it's pretty solid Republican. We don't think it's going to have a chance of flipping. Yeah, I was another battleground state that we should probably talk about as well. 0.6 percent lead for President Trump. That's, that's not yeah, that that's, great. that's not a good sign because Donald Trump took the state soundly in 2016, and it went from being our predictions <clears throat> went from being likely to lean. Yeah, and that that that's pretty big in the state of Iowa which was a state that Donald Trump did take in 2016. So he probably, what's best for him is that he does some reinforcement here and then a lot of other battleground states because this would, it would be pretty bad 
he's already in a pretty bad situation, according to the polls. And it would be even worse if Iowa is taken from him. Yeah, definitely. A nine-point victory in 2016. That was huge. Bigger than Texas. Kansas. 9.2. Very interesting, actually. I didn't expect this to be a likely. Um, Kansas is also solid GOP state. Although in 2016, I think one of the polls did show Hillary losing by only five points. So I don't really trust that. Um, Because we got to keep in mind, Kansas is a deep red state. So this is probably also going to be solid. Um, No doubt, really, in my mind, that's going to flip blue. Kentucky, home state of uh, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell. We saw a sudden change, actually. Kind of dipped down here. Um, Again, 20 points, 12 points. This is technically likely, but I think it's going to – it's probably going to uh, President Trump here. Again, at this point. At this point in time, Biden doesn't have a chance. He shouldn't really spend time in Kentucky, essentially. He should really focus on the battleground states and the blue wall, of course. So let's see Maine now. They didn't do an average for Maine. 8, 6, uh, 12, 20. Numbers are all over the place. This is a likely, I believe. I'm trying to do it in my head right now. I do things in the likely margin, so I'll just put it as likely. Um, oh, that's right. We don't have any data for one and two, so I'll just mark it as no data. Um, yeah, I think that's the best thing to do because we have a good idea of which side this is going to, but they don't have any data, so we'll do that at the end. Maryland, wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, I, I, I am not surprised. Yeah, um, <laughs> plus 24. Oops, it's a safe blue state. Maryland, yeah. Well, they do have a Republican governor who's actually quite popular, which I think is kind of interesting. Um, Massachusetts governor elections are weird. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Cause New Jersey also had a Republican governor, um, Massachusetts, deep blue, one of the bluest States in the nation. They also have a Republican governor. So that's kind of interesting. This is really off topic, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> now we get to a battleground state, the state of Michigan, Michigan part of the blue nine, wall, 9.1 9. 9. 1 point. That's wow. That's pretty big. Once again, um, Donald Trump did take the state in 2016. And now Biden, Biden leads. Yeah, narrow margin. But now look at that. This margin for Joe Biden is just substantial. Yeah, and I do think if the margin's this large, um, I think Biden has a pretty good chance of carrying it. Even in 2016, when Wisconsin flipped the polls showed Hillary up by six points, I believe, but nine points is pretty substantial. You Plus, mean Michigan? Um, no, in Wisconsin. Oh, Wisconsin. Wisconsin okay. Yeah, Wisconsin got it wrong. It was the only state that was outside the margin of error. So um, comparing them to Michigan, Michigan has a pretty large African-American population. Um, it's a very uh, – it's part of the Rust Belt. So I do think that it will probably go to Joe Biden. He's a pretty good shot there. I think polls support that as well. Although, yeah, Trafalgar gave a one-point lead, but this is Trafalgar. We can't really trust that that much. All right. Now, Minnesota, another battleground state in quotes. Um, I believe this is also a likely 12-5-16. Yeah. Yeah, that's a likely. Even this state went to Hillary Clinton, although it was quite uh, slim. This is the longest streak that a state has voted Democratic. Uh, even in the 84 landslide, didn't go to Ronald Reagan. So this one's a likely. We also think that Minnesota will probably go to Joe Biden, too. Um, and especially considering that um, uh, the George Floyd epicenter, uh, all the protests and the killing was in Minneapolis. Yep, so. definitely. Mississippi. Plus, this, this is, is probably... Like, this is likely. Likely, is yeah. Likely. Wow. Uh, Mississippi does have a large African-American um, population. If turnout does grow up, and usually when turnout is higher, the Democrats perform better. We saw that in 2018 with the increased turnout. Um, so Mississippi, honestly, it might go in a likely margin, the presidential election, but we're not too sure right now. Well, we're putting this one also in between safe and likely. We're not completely sure because this really might change, which will be interesting to see. All right. Now heading to Missouri. Missouri was surprisingly a lean for Trump. Wow. That was very surprising. That's pretty close. Yeah. Considering that Missouri is usually a solid red state. The last time it was quote unquote competitive was um, Barack Obama 2008 where the margin was so close that he could have ordered a recount Missouri 
probably will go to Trump. If anything, this is a likely R, not a lead R in our opinions. It's probably in between lean and, uh, sorry, in between likely and safe as well as uh, Mississippi. Montana, and I think this one's a likely if I'm remembering correctly. Yes, it is a likely. Um, although they, in Montana, they vote, they vote usually for the Republican candidate. They actually kind of split their votes on the statewide level because they do have a Democratic governor. They have one Democratic senator, possibly a second one if uh, Steve Bullock does win that. So Montana's an interesting state. I think it's probably going to Trump anyway. So even though it's likely, don't think it matters too much. Nebraska. Uh, huh. Oh, second district. Second I, was gonna, district. I was going to say... Seven and eleven. Seven and eleven. Um, so these polls were kind of done kind of recently. Nebraska's second. Wow. That is a decent margin for Joe Biden. Um at the moment it we is. have it as a toss up, but um I think that we might actually probably put it as tilty because looking at it right now, that margin is pretty large, although it's only two polls. Considering how much of an urban area Nebraska is and how like big of a city is, I think it it might go to Joe Biden. Last time I went to a Democrat was in 2008 with Barack Obama. So that's interesting to see. Mm -hmm. Heading now to Nevada. Nevada, 8.5. for. That's a likely. That is a likely. And polls here do tend to overestimate the Democrat, sorry, the Republican. So, and this one actually did have Trump leading um, on election day. So I think um, that Nevada should probably go to joe biden here new hampshire 7.9 points did i miss one i think no i didn't okay but i missed one 7.9 this is a likely last time we checked it was a lean now it's kind of likely um looking at recent polls seven eight um these are solid numbers interesting here february plus two that was kind of during his height um <clears throat> huh but i think this one will probably go to Joe Biden um, at the end of the day here as well. I think the next one is New Jersey. All right, the great state of New Jersey. 21 points. I'm not surprised. Not surprised. Yeah. Yeah, Northern Jersey is very Democratic, so um, it usually uh, votes significantly to the, well, to the left. Yeah. New, New Mexico. Mexico. But it's essentially um, safe at this point. Really, like... Interesting. The polling shows it as a likely, but although like the last poll wasn't done recently, in our predictions we're gonna put this one as safe as from now on because it does look pretty safe. Yeah. For now. It's off the Joe Biden's list of battleground states, and yeah. that's saying something. It is. New York. Do we even check New York? <laughs> Twenty six point four. No surprise. Um, Cuomo's doing a pretty good job according to people handling coronavirus, so that's a good sign for him, and that will definitely help. Uh, Joe Biden here as well. Um, all righty, North Carolina. This is a battleground state. Two point nine point lead for Joe Biden. This is a lead. Wow. Um, yeah, we do put this one as Joe Biden tilt at the moment because it does look like he's doing quite well here. Um, so it wouldn't be too much of a surprise if Joe Biden were to win the state because um, polling also here supports Cunningham um, because uh, it it does show that. Maybe the African American electorate turns out more this time, which is definitely possible. Mm -hmm, yeah. Alrighty, let's head to the next state, which is um, should be North Dakota. North yep. Dakota. No, no surprise. surprise. Um, this is this is safe. a safe red um, state. It hasn't voted anything else for a while, so no surprise. It's maintaining its um, it's maintaining its conservative um, support. So, no surprise. Safe. Yeah. All right, let's go to Ohio now. Um, yep, Ohio, Ohio. We have Joe Biden leading by 2.2. Last time, ever since we started doing polls, we always saw Ohio leading for Joe Biden. Mm -hmm. um, this is this, also a pretty conservative area. Yeah. This is not good for Donald Trump because, once again, he took this state in 2016 in a fairly sound margin. And mm -hmm. the fact that Joe Biden is leading in the state now really is not – looking good for Donald Trump. He will really have to reinforce in this state as well. So he knows that yeah. he's taking it. Although um, 
currently we're like considering kind of be a battleground state. Honestly, by next election, we might even not be talking about Ohio because it is swinging a lot to the right. But this poll is really interesting in showing that, huh, maybe Biden does have a shot here. Although I don't think it's really that that strong. Oklahoma, uh, safe. No surprise. Yeah. We're going to try to speed this up a bit because <laughs> this video is going to be extremely long. Um, yeah. Pennsylvania, 7.7. This is a Another lovely. battleground state, yeah. Again, Donald Trump took the state in 2016, and now it is – the odds are against him. Pennsylvania is a likely. Look at that. Um, all right. Let's head now to um, South Carolina. South Carolina is a likely interesting – um, this is a pretty deep red state, um, although it does have a pretty large African-American population. Um, South Carolina is probably going to Trump in the state, honestly. Um, actually, maybe a slight chance of going likely, but it's pretty much going to lock in for Trump. Um, All righty. Tennessee, 10.9 points. Wow, this is also a likely. Interesting. We don't see that many safes here. Um, we really do think that all of these uh, likely – States that we usually put as safe are going to be safe. It's just that, as we said in the beginning of this video, polling does usually tend to swing a bit to the left, and it doesn't really um, the the voters. It doesn't get um, the polls of like every single voter, which is why it does. It leans a bit more to the left than it should. So, like, I don't know. For example, Kansas is usually safe. Missouri is usually safe. Tennessee is usually safe. But they're probably all likely because they just probably don't have enough data. And it's being um, – the the Democratic votes are definitely being put in effect here. Um. So, yeah, I agree with that because that's why we don't solely rely on polls for our data here. Tennessee is likely – oh, Texas, another – now it's considered a battleground state. A few days yeah. ago, we actually saw Joe Biden leading here by – uh, like by point one, point two. Now it's turned into a tilt for Trump. This one's definitely one to keep an eye at. But uh, we did a video yesterday about this, so I won't go too much in depth about it. Um, you can check that out on our, on our channel. But at the end of the day, Texas, I think, will go to Donald Trump. Although Joe Biden does have a, a decent shot here. That if you d told me this like three months ago, I probably wouldn't believe you. But yeah, he has a relatively decent shot in Texas. There are a lot of states that are swinging in certain directions that we just wouldn't believe so completely because yeah I, I do remember us getting uh not get, receiving some criticism for putting texas as likely like three months ago even though i think it was likely then anyways yeah. um utah likely interesting here as well um usually a solid red state without mcmullen running um it's probably going to trump anyways Alrighty. Almost done here. Virginia, 11.1. .1. This is a likely. Probably yeah. we'll go to Joe Biden anyway because the GOP has pretty much failed here a lot. And uh, 304 already for Joe Biden. So he's already won this He's election. already secured the election. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Virginia, now Washington, I think is safe. It is safe. Pretty deep red, oh, deep blue state here um, in the state of Washington. West Virginia. Plus yeah. 37. Wow. This is extremely red. The most reddest state, I believe. In um, the whole country, yeah. No yeah, surprise. No surprise. And our final state, Wisconsin. Another battleground state. unlikely. Wow. This is pretty good, I think. The whole blue wall is likely. Oops, this one's no data. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. So, that is very... It is really interesting to see that the entire blue wall now is a likely for... Vice President Biden, something we probably didn't expect in our regular predictions, according to the polls. Um, so these are obviously not our predictions because we do think that, think that um, at the end of the day, polls do swing to the left a bit. Um, but for the purpose of this, like seeing who might win this, let's actually put all the states in for the places where we think. Um, yeah, Oregon's not going Democratic. We're all going to while. Um, where we do think the where each state will vote, let's just do that right now, just to kind of take a look at what the final electoral count would be according to this map. Um, wow. Interesting. 368. That's 368. a bigger margin than 2008. That's 
Yep, that no, that that's a landslide. No, mm-hmm. no debate about it. Obviously, this is, these are not our predictions. We think that Joe Biden will not carry Georgia, uh, probably not carry Ohio either. And that is the end of the video for today. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you like our content, please hit subscribe. We'll see you in our next episode tomorrow. See ya.